I bought Seth Everman's course about virality on YouTube. The course is called Viral Video Success on YouTube. And I wanted to share my thoughts about it, kind of do a review without getting into too much detail about the course because some of you are probably going to buy it after this. When I was you know going through this course it has 16 chapters and i was like halfway through it and i was just waiting for something that i didn't really know because i am a youtuber myself and i have uh, more than 200k subscribers so i was really looking for something that i was missing in my game in this youtube game and uh, so far halfway through the course i didn't really find anything uh, too useful or too interesting or too new i should say and most of the things that i heard here are stuff that i could hear from mr beast when he's talking about and in podcasts or just in general so most of this is uh, i would say common knowledge to anybody who knows anything about youtube how it works like average view duration audience retention thumbnails titles so these are all let's say common things that can be done in millions of ways so there's not a really specific way especially it's different for all of the channels and that's something that said uh, says in the course and stuff like that but i wanted to say that this course to me is just a bit mistitled it's not too much about virality it's more about being a youtuber in general and there are some good guidelines about how you should approach some things and as i said i'm not going to give away too much but it's a very good course when it comes to that but when it comes to virality like virality will this course make your videos go viral i really doubt it like let's see with this video i'm not sure maybe maybe this get shared more than my other videos that could be true but all in all um if you don't experiment on your own if you don't try something new this course will not help you too much but that being said i still think this is a valuable course especially for anybody wanting to start youtube so in my like general opinion about the course i would say that this is a great course for anybody under 100k subscribers or anybody above 100k subscribers i'm sure that most of these things you already know yet all of that being said i did hear maybe two pieces of information that i didn't really think about before that i'm going to try to implement in my videos and that could make some change you know i'm not putting too much faith into them but they're definitely good advice and something that I should try out the course is consisted of 16 chapters and i would say roughly that's about a bit more than an hour of content hour of information and uh, definitely useful for beginners one thing that i found a bit too much is talking about let's say camera gear that's something that uh, said really went into detail and that was to me a bit of a boring part because he really went into explaining iso camera lenses and stuff like that something that's definitely useful for making youtube videos don't get me wrong but that's not something that will make your videos go viral just look at his videos i mean most of them were recorded with a webcam and he actually touches upon this but all in all like uh, maybe he, in some other chapters he mentions uh, some other youtube channels that you should check out when it comes to gear when it comes to lighting and stuff like that some channels that he really learned from and that he really appreciates but in that one chapter he just went on and on about cameras and for a moment i was like uh, wondering what kind of a course did i actually buy i totally forgot and i found myself uh, speeding up that chapter i would say that this uh, course could be consistent in maybe 13 chapters maybe even 12 so some of the information was really un unnecessary but at the same time i guess it's better to have it there for somebody who doesn't know anything about it you know I'm, I'm coming from a background where i know a couple of things about youtube already so you know but at the same time i really wanted to hear more about virality because that's the name of the course i mean just look how he pitches this idea in one of his videos so this is the video how much youtube paid him for the billy eilish video and in the description it says this get my super epic viral video course but only if you want to be cool and get rich and famous now granted seth is a king of memes and memeable content especially when it comes to music and covers and stuff like that but but he's selling a course so i really wanted to hear more about virality and maybe tips on how to really go viral something that i really couldn't hear anywhere else and i i didn't hear it too much maybe a couple of things but all in all this was more of a general how to be a good youtuber or how to be a youtuber in general thing so maybe the course name could be changed a bit but all in all for 25 bucks it's a really solid course and i don't mind supporting set this way because i haven't bought anything from him before so this is a small way of supporting him so i'm doing this video to tell you if you're really 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 tight with your budget and uh, you're hoping that you would buy this course and just have a viral video and make tons of money 
you're probably not going to do that. And, it, you know, it's just not... It's not magic. It, there's not one simple trick that's going to help you. I will, it, It's not like he put some code into the metadata of the video to help it grow. At least he doesn't say that he does. I was kind of hoping that he would say something like that. But if you're under 100k subscribers and you have 25 bucks to spare, then definitely go for it. This is like a lot of information that you could maybe find somewhere else, but not all of it condensed into one single course and it's a really solid course. Now one thing that I just remembered and I think it's super important, he added a couple of chapters about his uh, personal story, about his life, about his struggling with depression and honestly that's probably my favorite part of the course. You get to see this different side of this guy that you probably won't see that much on YouTube. He's being vulnerable, he's really sharing some things that I'm pretty sure were not really easy for him to say and said thank you for that, I really appreciate it. Actually I've even connected with him even more after watching those parts. YouTube is not a really easy thing to do. It has its ups and downs and the burnout is real. A lot of things and Seth talks about this as well, like why he doesn't post that much. So if you're even interested in just that, then this course is definitely for you. All in all, those are some of my thoughts. I hope I made it clear. At the end of the day, the positive things about this course outweigh the negatives for sure. And if you've already had a chance to check out the course, I would really love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how useful it was for you. I will leave the link to the course in the description of this video. Check it out if you want. And what can I say? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.